Hi guys, it is Megan with another YouTube video on Megan Dawson Ethereal Orb Art. Um, you can always find me in different places. I'm on Facebook under Ethereal Orb. I'm on Etsy and Instagram. All the links will be in the description box. And you can find my podcast on Podbean. And come join us on my Facebook group, Fluid Art Fanatics, where we have tons of fun. We have monthly challenges and all that good stuff. Um... So, tonight, though, we are going to do a paint bomb, and I'm not using white in my paint bomb, so stick around and see if this fails. Um, whoa! Maybe it'll fail before I even start. Um, because sort of the white sinks, the colors lift, and then, you know, you've got prettiness. So maybe I'm making a mistake by not using white, but this is going to be my paint bomb color that's going to go around the edge and fill up the top. Um because I really like this. This is actually Tuscan Teal. I desaturated it a bit with ripe tomato and added a little black to make it dark because I really wanted this stormy desaturated kind of blue-gray. And then I have this Cranacridone Magenta which is a basics color and Master's Touch Emerald Green that I may or may not use. Um, and I have some Thalo Cyanine Green from Nova Color and this is Atlantis, um, another apple barrel color, which I may or may not use. My three colors I really am going to use are the, the Tuscan Teal that I mixed, um, the Magenta, and the Thalo Cyanine Green. These two, uh, I'm kind of on the fence about. I think I want to use this one and maybe a little bit of the that. The that. The, um, ugh, I am so sorry. Um. I do that every time, and every time I say, I need to stop kicking my table, and every time I kick my table. Okay, so one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to slow down. Um, be sure to check in and subscribe to my podcast, or to my YouTube channel, or on Podbean, because my podcast is going to be a little bit about slowing the brain down and enjoying this. And I won't get into it, because it's going to be in my podcast, but I have noticed... Now, when I'm filming, sometimes my brain doesn't slow down. Okay, so, on with the show, because I am just chatting here to myself, having a grand old time. And don't forget, on my channel, we like desserts and chocolate. So, if I mention a TV show or a movie, you get to have a piece of chocolate. It's kind of like the drinking game, only with dessert. So, pick your favorite dessert. Sit back, watch, and eat your favorite dessert while I mention TVs and TV and movies at random just so that you can have some chocolate. Because who doesn't need chocolate? So, as I layer, have a piece of chocolate, I am just about done with rewatching Better Call Saul. I don't know if any of you are fans of the Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad kind of world, but... I am, and Better Call Saul is going to, season four is about to start, and I'm almost done rewatching season three. I don't know, I just really like it. So I have some chocolate. I mentioned it several times, so you can have lots of pieces of chocolate. Or cheesecake. Have something deserving. And there I go. I was talking, my brain hasn't slowed down, and I don't even know what I'm pouring anymore. I'm not really paying attention to my layers. So I'm not sure it really matters because I'm getting the colors in there that I want. And I'm really not sure how this is going to work because I'm not using white. So I don't know. Ooh, I should add. See? Slow down, brain. Um, my colors are all mixed with my pouring medium, which is a 50-50 mix of Floetrol and Basics Matte. Sorry, my hand is right there. Basics Matte Medium. Um, and water, and then I put some Treadmill Belt Lubricant um, in all of the colors except the green. Um, I did not add it in the green, but it's in the magenta, the emerald green. Um, this color, and then my other one. So, let's be really careful. 
stop talking while I pour this. I love this stormy color. I may not have enough to go all the way over the top. If I don't, let's just go over it. I have a lot of paint here. I really should have taken a measuring cup to see how many ounces this is. Because I'm wondering if I need a bigger canvas. We're just going to go for it. Flip. Okay, and my cups because I didn't have the patience to try and shove some thumbtacks in the wooden part. This is that Creative Inspirations canvas, and I really, really do like them. It's a really nice canvas, but um, the wood is is really hard, which is good. Makes for a good quality canvas, but it also makes the thumbtacks really hard to push into the wood. And I have a rubber mallet. Actually, I do not, but my husband does, which he took back out into the garage because he needed it for something, and I have not stolen it back. Okay. This is just my um, pouring medium mix. I just sometimes like to rub a little bit on the canvas when I'm not using a negative space color um, to help the paint flow a little bit easier. Woo, it doesn't have those spots then where it, you know, doesn't want to go almost gets stuck sometimes, if that makes sense. Doop -de -doop -de -doop. Okay. Let me not fall off my chair while I reach for my cloth to wipe my hands off. That would be bad. It might be really funny. But it would also be really bad. Okay. So, make sure I'm still in screen. Okay, and let's do a little... Whoa! Okay, I'm going to torch before I tilt. And somebody mentioned on a previous video, I got a comment that said they thought that my mix looked thicker than on some others, other videos that they've seen. Um, and they asked if I used a thicker mix or if it was um, a trick of the camera. Sorry, I'm looking for a piece of cardboard. Oh wait, sorry guys, I paused so I get some cardboard. Uh, anyway, um, they asked if I in fact was using um, a thicker mix and I can't remember what video it was, but I believe it was a swirl. And in swirls I do use a thicker mix because I don't like um, cells in my swirls. I like to see the swirl the swirl pattern um, come out and really take over. So I use um, a little bit thicker of a mix. This is my, I have a mixing video, and this is my not quite custard typical if I want cells um, mix. So this is about as thin as I personally go um, with my paint. As thin. I'm sorry, did I say thick? This is as thin as I go. Usually I use a thicker, well, I won't say usually. Depending on what I want to do, I sometimes do use a thinner mix. I mean a thicker mix. Thicker, thinner. I go back and forth. Depending on what I'm going for. If I want um, cells like this that I have going on, this is the mix I use and this is the mix I show in my um, mixing video. If I want the details of the swirl, or I want um, color separation, I did a um, a video on a uh, where I was trying to do a coral reef, and that one was thicker also because I did not want the colors to mix at all. I wanted them to stay completely separate. That is canvas, and this can you see the white? Right here, that is um, the Floetrol, my medium mix that I put on the canvas um, that, that didn't mix with the paint, and I kind of like it. Now that will dry clear, however the canvas is white, so it should still look white. And right here, that's canvas, but 
um, it's not dry, it's the pouring medium mix. And I kind of like it, and that should stay white since the canvas is white. So I'm going to leave that because I kind of like that just a tiny little bit of white in there. And I'm going to call this one done. I don't think it needs any fiddling. No fiddle faddle with this one. I love that bright pink. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it. So let's do some close-ups, folks, and call it a night. There is a little canvas texture in a couple places because of the silicone. But I'll show you, when I do a close-up, I'll show you that that's the pouring medium mix that is not um, canvas at all. This one's really pretty. Okay. Okay, here we go. I would say doing that paint bomb with um, a different color for the outside color really worked outside color, paint bomb color, whatever you want to call it. Can you see? Let me see if I can get the light to shine on that spot. Yeah, so you can see that isn't raw canvas. That is actually the pouring medium. And there's that bigger spot. Can I get the... You can't really see the light shining on it because it's white. Hopefully you can tell though that you can't see the canvas texture. There's that bright pink showing through. Oh, that magenta is so pretty. And we're gonna let it vein, veining from the cells stretching. And then over here, it almost looks more pastel. Really pretty details. So, the side. Okay, so I'm going to post this video before it dries, but if you want to see it dry, I will definitely, since it has that pouring media mixed in, I know there's probably going to be people curious to see how it dries. Um, so I will post it on my Facebook group, on my Facebook page, Theory of the Orb, and I will also put it on Instagram. So check that description box and follow me one of those places or leave a comment on the video and I'll make sure you know when and where it's posted so you can check that out if you don't necessarily want to follow or, or you know get notifications or whatever um, just let me know and I will let you know when I post that um, it'll probably be obviously a day or two till it dries but I will for sure be posting pictures to show you specifically how this area dries where there's um, pouring medium that's kind of not mixed in all the way. So, I'm babbling like a babbling brook. Ugh, that almost looks like a creature. Sorry, I'm distracted by that little creature right there. Okay, things to do. All of you have things to do that don't include watching me just chit-chat. So, we will see you next time, guys. Happy pouring!